As an artist, I'm all about troubleshooting. Draining your brush is actually a great technique if you find you're in a little bit of trouble and you need to get rid of some monomer. You go to get a bead. It's a big enough bead that you want, but it is a little bit too much monomer. You lay on your paper towel, so you release. And then when you go to put that bead on, you're very happy with that bead, right? You just don't want that to become a regular thing. All you're doing is teaching yourself a really bad habit. And at the end of one client, you could have a lot more monomer resting in the paper towel when it should be remaining in your dish or ending up on someone's nails. So how do you prevent that? You really want to learn exactly how much monomer you need in that brush to gather the exact bead you're looking for. If you're releasing monomer on there, you want to make sure that you're gathering a little less monomer when you go to create that bead. Perfect little bead, and I did not have to waste any monomer. It's a great little technique, but if you get into the habit of doing it, all you're doing is wasting a lot of monomer. Get your bead a little more under control and you won't waste any monomer on your paper towel.